Sensational. And our topic today and our guest star is going to be fabulous. I always use that word fabulous because I started the show with the, that word fabulous. Fabulous past 60. Anyhow, our show tonight is Lust and Love. I have a wonderful guest star who's an actress, a writer, a producer, and we're so lucky to have her on our show today. And she's on my left. Nadia, welcome to Channel 36. And Thank you. Our topic today is lust and love. Yes. And I put that on because lust and love is, you know, she's in production. They're doing a movie on it. And uh, is it almost completed or what? No. Just tell no, me about we, it. No, we just started it. Um, okay. Uh, I, I did uh, film it a year ago as a web series, but now it's going to be a feature film. I love so that name. Yes. The title. Everyone, lo it. everyone loves it. <laughs> it uh, yes. And I thought about that title just just like that. I mean, I was like, it just came in my head and I said it and it sounded good. It catches good. you. Yes. Bingo, just like that. Do you have a book on that too? I or? do. Yes, I do. And oh. I, yes, it's not complete yet because uh, I have to finish the film and finish the script. Okay. So. And do you have two other books? Well, one I have here, I have uh, Breakaway. The Road to Freedom, Nadia, and she's lovely even with red hair, it doesn't make any difference <laughs> too. Um, I'm going to ask you, Nadia, you're here in L.A. for how long? When I've did you come? About five years ago. About five years ago? Mm -hmm. You mentioned in the book here about your dreams and your passion and a couple of things you mentioned go confidentially in the direction of your dreams, what yes. you want to do. Yes. It's the life you have imagined that you really want, and it looks like, well, you succeeded in all of these things, okay? Uh, what were you like then? I mean, you're gorgeous now, you're lovely, you look like a rock star and everything like that. Did you always appear like this before you came to L.A.? No. <laughs> How was, did you look? I was very conservative. I, um, I did have my own style as a conservative woman, uh, but I was not this person. You I wanted to changed. open up more. I have changed. Okay. I, I, yes, I am this person. This is me. I, I don't feel comfortable as a conservative woman. I feel more comfortable wearing what I wear. I, I like the uh, edgy look okay. and the glamorous with the edgy. Okay. I love that. Well, it and it fits me. It fits my personality. I, I, I can't see myself. Oh, it is. It goes perfect with you. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, having this look, I think it was difficult. Anyone that comes from a small town, any place, I mean, if you were dressed glamorous, everybody would talk about you anyhow because yes. they're very conservative in small towns. Yes. I know. I've lived in small towns yes. and everything. <laughs> and they think like, hey, if you come from <laughs> Vegas only, it's Sin City, bad girls come from Vegas. Uh, everything's a stigma yes. that people create in their minds, and it's sort of like ludicrous. It's kind of ridiculous. Yes. So anyhow, getting back to you, you came here to L.A., and did you change your attire when you got to L.A. or before you left? It was Texas. Mm. Uh, well, I think I may have started a little bit of it in Texas. Um, but I went to the extreme when I came here. <laughs> I, I uh, became more glamorous first, and then I added the edgy to the glamour. And so people see me now as glamorous, and they see me as edgy. So, um, and everyone makes a remark about my attire, that my attire, they love it. 
They love my shoes, they love my hair, my oh, clothes. Oh yeah, you wear it very well. They love everything. You wear it very yeah. well. But this young lady, <laughs> I don't know how she does it. <laughs> I ask her how many hours she sleeps, but she said about five or six hours. Yes. I call her the party girl because she's on the go continually, goes to every party around. She's on the red carpet. She does judging for different contests. She's into so many things. She's on Twitter, she's on Facebook, she has millions of followers. How in the world did you do that? And in there I go to the Oscars and the Emmys. And <laughs> I, I, go, uh, I go dancing at night at the clubs. Uh, I love to dance and so I love to have fun. And this is a part of my life that I missed as a so you teenager. Capture as a all of this young now. woman, I missed out, you know, in your 20s and 30s. Right. I missed out on a lot of this, and now I'm doing it because I want the opportunity to fulfill my life and do the things that I never got to do. And I, I think, I, I mean, I think that's great. A lot of people want to do that, but I think the fear sets in, and they don't have as much gumption as yes. you have. This I'm a risk a taker, and I, I have a very strong substance and will to do things, and I, I do things with a purpose. I. I love everything that I do, uh, and I do it the best I can, and that's why I succeed at each thing. I, I have a passion for everything that I do. But do you know how to work the computer and do all of these different things? Yes. I mean, uh, technically, you're good. Yes, I'm very good on the computer. Oh my <laughs> I'm God. better than a lot of people younger than me, I actually. I mean, you learned that when you came to L.A., or did oh you no, study oh that no. before? I studied that in 1994. I've been doing it since 1994. Oh, you, so you started a little bit before you came to L.A. Oh, to before get a even foundation. internet was, you know, a huge thing. Oh. I, was, I was working on uh, computers. I was paying my bills on computer. I taught myself how to type on computer, and now I'm like 80 to 100 words per minute. And um, yeah, I, I taught myself everything. Okay. Everything. Okay. I never took a computer class. Okay. <laughs> and you danced. Uh, I think you taught all different types of dancing, right? Yes, I did. I was a choreographer. I okay. also was a professional belly dancer. Well, we're, we're going to get into that. Yes. Maybe she told me she belly dancing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, what's your favorite dance? I know uh, in your area, your country that you were born in, which is? Beirut, Lebanon. Okay, mm -hmm. where you told me that they teach the youngsters very young, yes. the girls, how to belly dance. Yes, at everything. three years That's old. That's a culture. Yes. At three years old, we start dancing uh, at weddings, and the little How girls fun. go out there in the f on the dance floor, and How they do their little, fun. they don't use their belly, they use their feet and their hands, and it's so cute. <laughs> I mean, you have really have to have the art for that, definitely and, have the art. And, but and yes, and I was, uh, I was 100 pounds when I started at, uh, at 21 years old, okay. I was 100 pounds, and I'm 100 now, and uh, uh, People used to say, you don't look like a belly dancer, you don't have a big belly. <laughs> and so, but I did it, I mean, I did it, I danced, uh, I, you know. I, I think the hardest part, I've watched belly dancing yeah. so much and everything, is the movement of the hips, that's the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I'll, I'll watch you mm -hmm. when you do it. In, when do you want a, me to do a, it? In a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'll try it, but I can't do it like you. You have good movement on that. Did you do jazz? Did you do any other type? I can do free form, and I can I can dance to pretty much anything because um, I feel the music. I have been involved with music. I have been listening to music since a very young age, at of ten years old. I used to uh, play the radio. I used to watch uh, music concerts. I used to do everything at ten years old. I knew every song, every artist, everything. It, it, was, it was something that brought me joy. I fell asleep listening to music every day. Well, music is the soul of everything. It I is. Think. It is. It just, it's, um, I always said it's a wonderful road to escape it into is. the world that you want to be in. Yes, yes, you know, more it or is. Less. Yes. Your imaginary world the one that you want to be in yes. forever, yes. right? 
And I used to dream of being a singer, and I used to play with my girlfriends. We used to pretend we were a group, sing a group of singers, and we'd perform singing, and we'd sing rock and roll. And well, that's how yeah. stars become. Yes, they start yes. when they're youngsters and everything. Yes. And a little bird told me that you're going to record shortly yes. uh, with famous Annette Tucker, yes. who's a lyricist and a fabulous songwriter. Yes. And, and you're going to do. Friend. You're going to work with her. I am, and I'm Good. cutting a CD, and, and not just one. We're going to do a few, but we're going to okay. start with one. <laughs> okay. That's and I'm excited because that's a dream come true. That's something I've wanted to do most of my life, and well, I'm getting to do it. You're working with the right woman, and she's I am. right here in the studio today. I am. Oh, yes. She's always here. She's a good friend of yours and a very yes, good she friend is. of mine too. At yes. the same time. Yes, I love but her. But I applaud her. I all love the her. Time. Yes, she's great. Uh, could you just a little bit show me a little bit movement of that, okay? Okay, yeah, I can. You can go fast. I can, yes. So folks, bear with us. She's going to get the music started. Let's watch her. Maybe I should take this. Okay, be comfortable. Unreal. She does it with ease, it's like a natural. <laughs> Come on. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, you're joking. Oh my goodness gracious. Don't laugh. Make a figure eight. Don't go with so your fast. Hip. Okay, make a figure eight with your hip. Hold your hip so you can feel the eight. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna get a hernia. Forget it. Keep on going. <laughs> I I had a dance studio, okay. And I taught over two thousand women and young girls how to perform and uh -huh. do belly dancing. And I produced recitals and uh, shows for them and for their families to come and see them. And of course, and uh, and was very successful at it. I want to ask you something. When someone belly dances. When you teach it, mm -hmm. what expression is the proper expression when you belly, belly dance? Is it real serious? How Should be a smile. Okay. A smile. Because like you're enjoying it. You're listening to the music. It's beautiful music, and you feel it in your body. You, and I especially love the drums. The drums really excite me, and they give me uh, a passion. They give me a... I love moving to drums. Love I wonder, it. I wonder what year that started in your country all the way back. That's fascinating. Oh, it's when they thousands started. of years ago. Thousands. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. So she's a party girl. She does all. Oh, your radio show. Yes. Your text, and she has a new radio show. Mm -hmm. What's the title? Okay. Uh, I have my radio show is called the Nadia Sahari Show, and okay. I'm starting a live talk show that's going to be uh, taped, video, live. Okay. It's called Text in the City. Texting in the Text, City? Text in the City. Oh, Text in the City. Text in the City. Okay. And my friend Annette Tucker named it. <laughs> she created the name. That's, that's mm -hmm. great. Yes. Now, and I'm producing it, and okay. I have produced it, and I already started the taping. Okay, that's and a great title. Isn't it? Who does it? Everyone... <coughs> Texas. Everyone. Everything is text today. Yes. You see someone down the street, no matter where they go, eating, we're, we're all doing this. We're all doing that. Okay. So uh, you're going to talk about everything, um, dating, uh, work, what, whatever, right? Yes. Yes. And okay. texting, the relationships that they've had with texting. And um, I have celebrities that are going to be my guests. And and one of the guests that, well, maybe I shouldn't mention that now, but I, I have a lot of celebrity guests. And one of them is Ron Pritchard, who's uh, the tribute artist for Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, that's great. And he's okay. well known, and uh, he is the number one Sammy Davis tribute artist that is uh, authorized by the family and the co author of Sammy's books, um, uh, Bri uh, Brian uh, Boyer. Okay, Sammy Davis, the one and only Sammy yes, Davis. Yes, yes. Who is fabulous. You know, one thing about texting, you know, I love it, but 
how do you feel personally about it? Don't you think texting today, everything is so impersonal? Yes, when it you is. you do that. And it gets misconstrued. Lacking of conversation, don't talk, just text it yes. to me. Yes, short text too. They don't want long ones. <laughs> Sometimes I do long ones. You see, I get carried away too, and that's bad. You know, that's not good. But, uh, yeah. it, and it can get misconstrued. You can really be in tr get in trouble if someone takes it the wrong way, and you didn't mean it that way. Well, looks what's happening out there in social media yes. and everything. Yes. Oh, my God. Someone takes a text and between yes. pictures and yes. everything else and yes. everything. So on the net, what's your favorite? Is Facebook your favorite or Twitter or? Uh, well, I'm how, on, it. I'm how on do you everything. Know, how do you, honestly, <laughs> tell me, how do you find time to do all of these on the net and Twitter? You carry the cell phone with you every second where you go, when mm. you go to the party, <laughs> you no. do all of this. No. How do you do that? No. Though? Really? Uh, well, you have a special technique. Well, you have to have a special <laughs> technique. I, I've structured myself to to do it now, but not to do it as frequently all day or all night. Uh -huh. I have structured certain hours of the day to do it. Because you do have to keep it up to, to keep your network interested and your fan base. I have a big fan base. And, I, and to keep them interested, I can't not show up. They want me to show up. If I, and they love me to show up. I picture you in bed. <laughs> oh no, I don't Thinking do it. About what I'm doing? <laughs> what am I going to do the next minute? I don't no, I don't do that. Uh, I I uh, do what I need to do, and as often as I need to do it, and I have it structured now, so I'm not doing it all day. So now I'm doing other things, uh, and I'm busy doing other things. I have too much stuff to do, and I'm doing one thing at a time. I focus on one project at a time, so that I can do one project very well. Okay, no party tonight, right? Because um, you're, we're going out to dinner. Oh, well, you have a party after dinner. <laughs> I could dinner party late. Probably. I usually start at 10 at night. 10 at night? Yes. I, go, I stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. Oh. <laughs> and then you sleep your few hours and yes. you're geared to yes. go on again. Yes. How do you find out about all these different parties and everything? I get invited to them. Okay. I get invited by all my fans, by my networks, e by email. I'm on everybody's list. Okay. Suppose you weren't invited. Can you get in? I'm sure you could get in if you weren't invited. Oh, yeah. To. I always know somebody. But I don't go to things that I'm not invited to. Okay. I um, go to only where I'm invited. Okay. Where, what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite rock and roll place on Sunset Strip that you might go to a club? What's that? Ever go? You must go to Whiskey or Go Go and those no, places. No, I don't. You don't? I don't. No. I go to the Abbey. And, uh, I'm not familiar with it. It's it? on uh, Robertson in okay, Santa Monica. Okay. I go to the Abbey. Oh my God! They play the electronic music, the techno, and everything, and I love dancing to it. And okay. everybody's wonderful in there. Uh, it's a different class of people than uh, it's a than Sunset Strip. High class. And, and can you get up and just do move to the music by yourself? Oh yeah. You could do that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But I always. When I go now, there's always someone grabbing me to dance with me, or they want me to dance with them, or whatever. And it's fun. Or I go with the girls, or I go with um, whomever. That's great. I love that jacket. I Thank love that you. Outfit. Thank you. I love that She has great clothes and those <laughs> boots. How in the world? Everybody loves these. Everyone, they wear these spikes. You dance in these spikes? I do. Wow. I wear six inch heels and dance in six inch heels. Oh my God! <laughs> Unreal. Okay. I, I do everything in six. And you have your favorite stores that you go to get your clothes, right? Yes. What and now I have stores? some new ones. I have so, a couple of new ones, and I have a designer that's making my clothes now for oh, me. Oh, okay. And uh, and we're going to probably put them in my name. Also. That's what I was going to say. I bet you she's going to get a clothes. Yeah. In your name. Yeah. A line of yeah, clothes. Yeah. She wants me to. She wants me to tell her what I want, and she wants to put it together for me, and then we're going to start with a few garments first, and then go bigger. That sounds really good. Yeah, Get so I'm excited creation. about that. That is. Mm -hmm. Are you going to deal with some leather, too? Oh, leather the way I dress, everything? you know, yes. Uh, yes. I could imagine how many closets you have. Leather and lace. <laughs> I, I like that I love title. leather and lace. That's a great title. That's a song title. Oh, I love that. Yes, by Stevie Nicks. It's one of my favorite songs. I like so that. So my clothing line is going to be leather and lace. 
Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Oh my god. Then you'll go to perfume. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I thought about the perfume a long time ago, believe it or not. It's strange that you said that. I thought about that like 10 years ago, and I was going to call it Nadia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll do that. That's good. I'm not sure. Yeah. What scent? I have to tell you this. I had a scent on today. Uh -huh. I'm into perfume, and my, my friends, my girlfriend, it's too strong. I don't <laughs> like it, you know. I like, probably you would be more of a, a musky smell, not so flowery. Right. More um, of a patchouli, woodsy smell, something uh, like that? No, I'm more like, um, I like, uh, St. John has a wonderful one. I think it's called uh, Gardenia or Camille. I can't, Camille, I can't remember. I think Gardenia maybe. But anyhow, it's beautiful. when you make but your own. When I make my own, I don't know. I have to, you know, I have to go to the lab and they let me smell different things and then I can do the combo that I like. That's how they do it. We have to bring our friend along. She has a great nose. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she, <doesn't smell. laughs> she She's laughing. She she's won't get wonderful. on camera anyhow. <laughs> what other uh, dream do you have inside that you want to do besides? You get done singing and everything. Is there something else mm. that you have hidden well, that you're thinking about to my in dream, the future? My dream was always to be an actress and I'm doing that and I've done it and I'm still doing it. I have a new uh, agent now in Hollywood mm -hmm. and, um, and a new manager coming uh, also. Uh -huh. And so I'll be doing some auditioning for movies and TV and uh, I love acting. And of course, I'm an author. I've written three books, right, which we'll talk right. about. And um, I am a dancer. And um, well, don't you find out in Los Angeles you have to be multi-talented? Yes, you do. Yes, you, you know, do. Acting is not enough. No, it's not. They know how to dance, sing, act, produce, and yes. everything else. And I'm a producer. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, um, I could probably direct, but I don't want to be a director. But but I was told that I should be a director. Right, <laughs> but uh, producing and directing. Yeah, goes hand pretty in much hand close. Yes, yeah. definitely. So, but I love I love everything I'm doing, and and I love doing different things. I get bored if I only have one thing to do. Uh, I love trying different things. I love doing different things. It's I, I'm that type it of person. It excites you, and you like to be on the go all the time. I do, too. I do, okay. and I am on the go all the time. Right. And I'm a doer. I'm a doer. I'm not a procrastinator. Uh -huh. And I, I think of ideas. I create things. And I want to try them. I want to do them. And I do. And you, you know? go after them until you get it. Yeah. And right. if I don't, if it doesn't work out, it's okay. I don't mind. Um, you know, I, I just try something else. Okay. And maybe if it doesn't work, you know, maybe it's not what I really wanted to do, I okay. discover. You like rock music? You like country? Oh, God, I love everything. Like I love all music. Okay. I love all music, and the new CD I'm going to cut is going to be country pop. Okay. Why do you like country so much? What? Because it's heartfelt. It's a. It it's tells stories. Tell like, stories. It's right. the pain from the heart, or the joy from the heart, or the love from the heart, or the disappointment of the heart. Whatever. It's all heartfelt. Every and bit of it. You can understand them when they sing too. <laughs> yes, I can. Like these and other yes. songs, you can't even understand them. <laughs> And you relate to it. Yeah. Everyone relates to it. It's yeah, I the think story. everyone associates yes. with music yes. to the lyrics and everything. Even the songwriters, when they write their piece, they mm -hmm. do. They relate to it all the mm -hmm. time. And mm -hmm. that's why they write such magic. Yes. Like Annette. Yes. <laughs> and that's how that works. That's, you know, everything in life that is successful, I think, has to do with what you went through, what you experienced in life. Because then you have the passion to tell the story and, and to believable. touch people. It's and believable. to touch people. But it's the truth. And the truth is always the best. Yeah. And that I have another feature film that I'm going to be writing after this project. And it's a true story. And it's um, a love story. And uh, that's something I'm going to work on for a f feature film. Uh -huh. I believe it's going to be big. Okay, we and all it's love something love that stories. I experienced so it's going to be huge. Okay. Yes. With all the action going on and everything, there's always room for drama and love stories and everything like that. Yeah, a lot of drama <laughs> in my love story. It's going to be great. I, I can't wait. I, I <laughs> talk to you about this later on. Not too much now, anyhow. No. 
Um, what I want to ask you on your show, texting or text, sorry, text in, text the, city. in the city. Yes. Not sex in the city. No. Text in the city. Text. Okay. You're going to do it at your place, your residence, you said, or at a studio? It's going to be a studio. The studio. Okay. All right. With the and city view. Okay. How many days will My you place do is a studio with a city view. Okay. You'll do this, what, e every day or once? once a week or um, I'm not sure uh, probably I will film uh, I will do it once every two weeks okay uh -huh. any other radio show any other ideas for radio shows well I have my radio show and which is how, how about party girl party girl <laughs> one radio show is enough but everyone knows you know I'm a party girl and you know that's part of the show of each of the radio and of the live video taping I mean um, but you have, you, you look so great. You have no circles, you have nothing like that. I mean, I don't know. You must take special vitamins and everything <laughs> that you can keep on the go like that. I eat very healthy. Uh, I, you know, don't drink alcohol except occasionally, you know. Uh -huh. And I don't need much alcohol, just as much, and I feel really good. Say, I yeah, know. I feel good. It lightens me up and, you know, I get the buzz and I'm happy. And well, I really don't need alcohol because I'm happy I anyway. Because everyone thinks I'm happy, or they think I already had a drink because of my personality. Yeah, because they you're all so think up. I'm, yeah, you're they so think, up. What did you drink today? What did you have? What's your secret on life? Can I get a sample? <laughs> Some people might That's say yeah, that. Yeah, you yes. Tell me. <laughs> Anyhow, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm careful how I'm going to ask you of this too. Anyhow. Reasons and motivations and passions and desires. What's your main, I know the time's running so fast, I have so many things I want to ask you. Your desire, your main desire in life is to be well known. Everybody thinks you're lovely, which you are. Thank you. You're number one. Uh, the desire to do movies, to be creative and to be as happy as you can and to stay as a good person as you can because you're very giving, yes. which is important. A lot of people have these desires and everything, but they're not warm, they're not giving, yes. and they're too self-centered. But you're an entirely different female individual, and I applaud you for that. Thank you. I really do. Thank you. And let, I, me, let me correct one thing. I'm not looking to be famous. If it happens, it happens. I am doing what I love to do. I am doing what I never was able to do, never had the freedom to do it. So you're a free thinker too and everything like that. Yes, and more okay. so now than I have ever been. Okay, I want to tell you, I think you're great. Thank love you. Love you. I'd love to Thank have you. you on the show again. I enjoyed it so much. Thank you so for having me. I, It's wonderful. You're Don't beautiful. Don't ask me the belly dance no, again. You're <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't hurt you any. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Channel 36, Nadi, it was wonderful having you. Thank you. Lust and in love. Lust, Lust in, and love. In love. And, I, and I want to thank everyone for their support, all my fans and everyone. And just Google Nadia Sahari and you'll find all my networks. Yeah. Just go Facebook and she's all <laughs> over the place too, okay? And uh, this book, I don't want to forget, Breakaway, The Road to Freedom. And, and the, the Bully I, Cat. What is that called? The bully cat. Oh, no. The bully cat. Yeah. Hot and a girlfriend. Hot song. Hot lips. All night.